So in this video, we're going to look at radians. So radians is a topic that a lot of people don't really like. They, they think, why can't we just use degrees all the time? Why do we have to use radians? Um, just because they find them a little bit confusing. So hopefully I'll try and make them a bit less confusing and make people less scared of radians because they, they are quite useful. So anyway, uh, we know that in a circle, we have 360 degrees, okay? So each little degree is like one tiny sliver of the circle. And if you add loads and loads and loads and loads of those, so exactly 360 of those, yeah, I'm not gonna draw 360 of them, then you have the whole circle. So it's a measure of how big the angle is. Uh, so for example, that's about 90 degrees, then you have this one is about 120 degrees. So obviously the more degrees there are, the bigger the angle, yeah? So radians are actually the exact same. So radians, instead of 360, so 360 degrees, we have two pi radians in a circle. And that's all they are, they're just another way of measuring the angles, okay? So the reason they use them is they're a bit more useful in formulas, so we'll, we'll look at that later. But anyway, so if you imagine a circle, we have, there are two pi radians, yeah? If you imagine this uh, 90 degree angle here, there are pi over two radians in it, yeah? It's just a different number of, of things, like each bit there, each one degree is gonna be 0, 0.0 something of a radian. It's gonna be a little bit smaller, but it's the exact same idea as degrees. It's just another way of measuring angles, okay? So I'll just say another way of measuring angles. So hopefully my writing isn't too bad. Just trying to get it as quick as possible. I don't want you to sit here and watch me write. Yeah, so generally because there's pi in radians, you're gonna get nasty decimal point numbers uh, or else you get fractions like that with pi in it. But anyway, now I'm gonna teach you guys how to go from degrees to radians. This is a really important trick. So as we see there, there are 360 degrees and that's the same as two pi radians. Uh, or you could write 180 degrees is equal to pi radians, okay? And it's gonna start right rad. So this is where you're gonna start always if you wanna turn something from degrees into radians or vice versa. So always remember 180 degrees or a straight line is pi radians, okay? So say for example, we wanna find out what, question one, 70 degrees is in radians, okay? How many degrees, sorry, how many radians are in 70 degrees? So you're gonna start with this line here. So I'll do it in orange. Uh, we have 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So if you want degrees, okay, you're gonna divide both sides by 180. And the reason for that is because 180 here. So bear with me. Uh, 180 over 180 is just gonna be one. So that means one degree we find is pi over 180 radians. So if you want, you can put that into a calculator and get a decimal point, but it's better to keep it like this. And now if we wanna find out what 70 degrees is, okay, so if one degree is this, then 70 degrees, I'll do a different color. Uh, this implies that 70 degrees, it's just gonna be 70 times this. Yes, yeah? so multiply both sides by 70, and now we have 70 pi over 180, yeah? And then if you do want to um, simplify that a little bit more, it's just seven pi over 18 radians. And you can leave it like that. So if you wanna put it in a decimal place, you can, but it's not as accurate as leaving it like this. So it doesn't look like a nice number, but um, th that's the answer basically. So if you wanna turn degrees into radians, start with this line here, divide both sides by 180, and then just multiply by whichever amount of degrees you want. So hopefully that's clear. Um, makes less sense when I do a summary of it just talking, but if you watch through it again, hopefully it makes sense. So now we're gonna look at the opposite. And the question is going to be um, 1.5 radians, okay? How many degrees is that? Oh, no, two isn't the answer. How many degrees is that, yeah? So we're gonna start with the exact same thing. We're gonna say pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. This time we're gonna divide both sides by pi because we want radians. So divide this by pi and divide this by pi. So we're gonna be left with pi over pi is one radian. And this is equal to 180 divided by pi degrees. And again, if you want, you can stick that into a calculator and you'll find, I think it's about 57 degrees. So that's how much one radian is. Um, but the actual number doesn't really matter. Uh, and now we wanna find what 1.5 radians is. So I'm just gonna draw a line down and continue here. So if one radian is this, then I'll go purple. 1.5 radian is just 1.5 times, so 
So let's write that. 1.5 radians is just 1.5 times 180 over pi. Yeah? So just to finish that off, 1.5 rad is equal to, and then I'm, I'm actually just going to turn this into, into a number. It's going to be about 85.94 degrees. And that's just putting all of that into your calculator. Okay? So that's our answer for this one. So that's the method you have to use if you want to turn something from degrees into radians. And the last thing I'll do is I'll just define radians in the kind of proper maths way. So just give me two seconds and I'll clear some space here. Yeah, so again, they didn't come up with radians just to annoy students uh, as something difficult. So the, the definition where radians come from is to so say we have a circle here and we have, this is the size of our angle. So the radius there is going to be the same as the radius there, yeah? Say the angle is called theta and say the length of this um, section there is L. So yeah, the length of the arc is L, okay? Theta is defined as L divided by R, yeah? And that's theta in radians. So theta is the Greek letter written like that. Um, they use it a lot for angles basically in maths. And you're gonna see it quite a lot in the next bit of trigonometry. But anyway, that's the official definition is that it's the length of the arc divided by the radius. So obviously if the arc gets bigger, and the radius is always going to stay the same, the angle is going to get bigger. That makes sense? So you imagine I drag this over, the arc is going to get a lot bigger and the angle is going to get bigger. If you make it smaller, the arc will get smaller and the angle will get smaller. So that's the, where the definition of radians comes from, basically. Yeah? Um, but you don't have to be so worried about that. It doesn't come up that often. It's more just about how to turn radians into degrees and just to understand that, again, it's another way of measuring angles. So hopefully that video helped. We're going to look at some uses of radians, some formulas, uh, in radians in the next video. See you then.